Let me ask you something. Please tell me you saw uh, Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck at the at the Grammys. I think I seen clips of that, man. Listen, bro. Shout out to Ben Affleck. You know, Ben Affleck's <laughs> from Boston. You know what I'm saying? He's from the Bing. So he be bagging him. You know what I'm saying? We you gotta give Ben Affleck his, but I could see how Jennifer Lopez would be problems. Like, it's one thing, a lot of times you're looking at these girls and the bodies and the and then they're on TV and you're like, yeah. But then when you're living with them and you know, two weeks and a month and three months go by, you gotta start dealing with that attitude. A lot of female celebrities, man, are real, they're not easy to deal with on a long-term basis in real life. And that that looks, I mean, they already tried it and it didn't work. So he's already at the Grammys where he noticed millions of, 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 of cameras. That's some shit she's doing. That's pissing him off. Like, yo, just what, you know what I'm saying? Did, did you I, see I the almost, man's face? Did you see his face? Yeah. Ben yeah. looked like he was in hell. He yeah. looked like, yo, just get me out of here. Like, Jim like, Carrey was I just in a situation like, yeah, yeah. Jim Carrey was just in a situation like that. Where, you know, it just seemed like maybe all the, 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 the fake shit in, in, in Hollywood and in this game is just pissing people off and they can't take it. Anymore. It don't matter who you are, how big you are, yo, your lady will bring a different level of stress into your life, man. She gonna drag you places you don't wanna go. I've been she there. gonna be able to get under your skin like no dude on planet Earth. I've been there. And that's why you gotta make sure the person you with fits your, fits your cheat. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> because, because if they don't, you know, if they only fit your cheat in bed, then there's a lot of other things that a partner is gonna have to experience that, that your cheat is gonna have to fit. And being in public places and one feeling that somebody's embarrassing them by their actions. That is the, that cheese big. That part of relationship is big. And you gotta make sure that before you get with somebody that you can be in public places with them, the same harmonious that you got, harmonious situations that you have in bed, you're gonna have in a public forum, then that's the one. But if in bed you guys are amazing, but then you're in public and she's doing shit that's bothering you or you're doing shit that's bothering her, well, that's a problem. Yeah, nah, they didn't hide it very well. I don't know what was going on. And maybe, you, you to, just to keep it 100, this ain't his world. He's an actor. You know what I'm saying? And he always I, I just go to I just go to think that she's just difficult. Some Simple reason, as I, that. I just think that, you know what I'm saying, just with experience on some, you know, not of course, but I just feel like she just comes across to me as a difficult person. Like everything's just always going to be about me. The lights and everything, twenty four seven. That shit. And he he probably was like, yo, you know, so you ain't bigger than me. You know what I'm saying? If I'm not, you know what I'm saying? If I if my head ain't all like, you know, relax. You know what I'm saying? That's you know what I mean. Yo, but at the end of the day, man, she be putting it on these dudes, so she must be doing something in that bedroom. That um. Well, that's. Then that's what I'm saying. Like, she she the, got that Puerto Rican blood in her. She, <laughs> she, she got, got that, that boogie down Bronx in her. <laughs> Don't, yeah, don't get that, it twisted, Benzino. That's what that guy mean. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not get this twisted. I mean, as, as big as a headache as she might be, she the clearly putting something on these dudes in the bedroom. As she, big she as had the headache is, the head. ass is big. The ass is bigger. <laughs> you know, I rented her house one time in, um, in Miami, and uh, Bobby Brown and God rest Whitney and God rest Bobby Christina came over for the weekend. And me and my pop, oh, not shout the schnapps. Yeah, we had him for the weekend. I got a couple of stories and shit, but we'll, we'll talk about that another day. But, I, you know, shout out to Jennifer Lopez because, you know, she allowed us to rent her, her, uh, her house. It was one of her houses back then. And let's, let me say, and I was just giving my opinion. She's an amazing, she's a legend. Not just in Latino world, but for a Latino woman to cross over, she's done major things. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Jennifer Lopez. True indeed. Um, yo, staying on legendary women, Beyonce. I love your segues, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody does it better. <laughs> close getting close. I like to Nate dog, man. Nah, we got we gotta talk about your girl Beyonce. Yo, Beyonce number one. I mean, rank I know you don't like the ranking, but 
But, but I, I mean, listen, you know, I mean, Beyonce at this point is the, is the, is, is the, how can I say it, man? She's just, she's just eclipsed so much as far as the industry goes and her fan base loves her to death. So I don't got nothing bad or I, I don't have anything bad to say about Beyonce. No, I mean, yo, what? she got you know. something like 32, 33 Grammys, most in Grammy history. I don't think nobody works harder. I don't think nobody no, practices no. and works harder and focuses more on a craft than Beyonce. So. Yo, okay, so I got to ask you this. You, you, you was just talking about Jennifer Lopez. You, you, you think Beyonce is a pain in the neck at home? I don't, you know, that's a, that, that's a good question. I, it, it doesn't seem like it because she stays away from the, from the press and everything, whereas Jennifer doesn't. You know, Beyonce's more, I'm gonna give you what I wanna give you, you know? She's not doing interviews, she's not out there. It's like she knows she's the shit so she don't have to just throw herself out there. And I think she's so comfortable within herself being the shit that it just doesn't bother her in a way. I mean, it just doesn't consume her in a way that these other female stars are consumed by. I think she knows that her work and her body of work speaks for itself. Where these other ones, they just, they have to use other means and methods to stay relevant and stay out there. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.